So I was looking into Cyberpunk 2077 again, because as I'm sure a lot of you know, I'm pretty excited for this game, and I saw some news that got me pretty excited. So, first things first, other than the incredible world, characters, and story, what is amazing about The Witcher 3? Um, no, not that. Well, kinda, but not my point. What is amazing is that each DLC for The Witcher 3 was almost like an entire new game in itself, meaning that it didn't just feel like the devs had decided to cut their original game in half and sell you the rest of it over time, unlike some other games. So, say when you played Hearts of Stone, it was a fairly self-contained story with a few contracts, but all in all, I would say that it could have been a game in itself, and when you look at The Witcher 3's second DLC, I mean there are actually a lot of AAA games that are worse than that. And that's not a criticism to those games, The Witcher 3's DLC is just that good. So, I was pretty excited when I saw a piece of news, this piece of news basically saying that DLC of this quality can most likely be expected for CD Projekt Red's new game, Cyberpunk 2077. The UI coordinator for CD Projekt Red, Alvin Louis, said, We are talking about expansions for the future. However, they first want to make sure everything in the game is complete. He then goes on to say that after finishing everything in The Witcher 3, he still wanted to know what happened to those characters, and he thinks there will be opportunities for us to see what happened to the characters in Cyberpunk 2077, similar to the opportunities we had in The Witcher 3. So basically, we got to see what happened to Geralt through DLC, and we'll probably get the same with V in Cyberpunk 2077. In all honesty, this isn't exactly news, as I'm sure a lot of you, just like me, already expected that if CD Projekt Red were to make Cyberpunk DLC, they would follow the same path as The Witcher 3. However, now it has been actually addressed, and I thought just sharing this news and my personal excitement might make for a fun little video. I mean, Louis also mentioned that Cyberpunk 2077 will have a hefty amount of content at launch, with a fully developed game. Also, we'll see proper character development, we'll resolve conflicts and cause them, and we'll also have a very rewarding ending, which is definitely to be expected from a game dev like CD Projekt Red. But it's still nice to get a bit of confirmation, personally it just makes me feel even more excited for this game. I would also like to add that not only do I fully expect amazing DLC of the same quality as The Witcher 3's two main DLC, but I also think that considering how much CD Projekt Red puts into their games, we can also most likely expect some free DLC similar to the free DLC we got with The Witcher 3. I mean, if any of the devs end up watching this video at any point, I just want to say that we know you guys are going to do an amazing job. Try to feel too much pressure, as honestly just, we, you know, as long as it doesn't have microtransactions and it's a decent game, then people will be happy, you know, and it's it's, it's just, thank you so much. Anyway guys, that was just a quick video. I have another cyberpunk video planned, so stay tuned for that. And I actually do have some Witcher 3 videos planned, so stay tuned for those as well, as I know a lot of you guys are wanting those videos. Like the videos, subscribe for more, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, join the Reddit, and Discord. And, as always, thank you to the Patreon pledges. You guys are awesome, and I'll leave you all with their awesome names. And remember, oh god, no, not that again. I'll just end the video, oh god.